Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Happy Friday. It is. The highly anticipated Star Wars The Force Awakens officially hits theaters across the country today. But some Star Wars fanatics were actually able to catch the movie as early as last night. News 3 This Morning reporter Eden Checkles live at Marcus Point Cinema with some reaction this morning. Hi there, Eden. Hi, good morning, Adam and Charlotte. That's right. So for people who could not wait, who didn't want to have to wait till this morning here at Marcus Point Cinema, they were able to catch the movie at seven o'clock last night. Pretty much there was a showing every half hour. One guy who got to enjoy the movie at about three in the morning is Manuel. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so no spoilers, but if you could rate the movie one to ten on a scale of one to ten, what would you give it? I give it a ten with the full force. <laughs> Okay, and you, how were you preparing for this? You said you were watching a couple of uh, the episodes beforehand? Uh, yeah, pretty much uh, I saw every episode uh, up until now just to get me ready for the movie. This movie means a lot to me. I grew up, in, I was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and when my father bought his VCR, it was like the first VCR on the block, so everybody went to the house and we watched Star Wars, and so, you know, it you know, brings back a lot of memories, you know, knowing that... Um, I saw it uh, in Puerto Rico growing up and then when I moved here and now, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a part of my life. It's a part of my father's life too and so I'm, I'm hoping to bring him later on here to, uh, to watch the movie too. Later on tonight, so you like it so much that you're going to come back again, right? I'm going to come back again, yeah. And, uh, you know, I'll definitely bring my dad, I'll bring my sister and uh, probably with my, my homies later on, we'll, we'll watch it. Nice. So a family affair. Now, you didn't have any coffee, no no Coke. How are you still awake? Oh, the force. <laughs> the force is with you. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Now, again, they're going to be showing this movie pretty much every half hour. Actually, this is the first time that Marcus Point Cinema is going to be open for 72 hours straight, Adam and Charlotte. That's how big of a deal this Star Wars movie is. Oh. So for people who are interested, they can come on down. They technically are closed right now. Their next showing is going to be at 6 o'clock. We have mm -hmm. some people who are walking in who are lining up to buy some tickets. So, um... 6 o'clock, and then they have another showing at 6.35. Um, so, again, big movie. They're, they're expecting a lot of people. Yeah. Adam and Charlotte, I would say back to you, but I think it's only appropriate that I say, may the force be with you. And we appreciate that, Eden. <laughs> thank you very Perfect. much. We'll need it for the rest of the morning here. <laughs> yes, we will. I'm sure. All right, thanks, Eden. Well, the movie is playing around the clock in many places, including here in Madison. Marcus Point Cinemas on Madison's west side has showings throughout the morning. They had a 4 a.m. showing. They have another mm -hmm. one, I think, at 6 or 6.30. News 3 this morning reporter Eden Chuckle is there with a look at the action. Good morning. Hello, good morning, Adam and Charlotte. Well, it seems like some people don't mind popcorn for breakfast, right? It's all because of Star Wars. One of those people who's very excited to see this movie is Will here with me. Okay, so what are you most excited about? I'm just excited on how, like, they're going to advance the story from the original trilogy and just see with the new characters and the new villain and see how they're going to further progress the story. Now, you came with a lot of props, a lot of stuff here. Yes. Okay, so I have your lightsaber, exactly. right? What else do you have? You've got your blanket. Yep. Oh, I yeah. got my hat, sweatshirt. I also have a shirt that's Star Wars oh as well. <laughs> yep, and then I have my Star Wars uh, popcorn bucket. Uh-huh, and then you have some glasses in there. Are those Star Wars glasses? No, those are just 3D glasses, okay. yeah. Holding your ticket. That'll probably, mm -hmm. uh, that probably be a keepsake. Yeah, at uh, Marcus Point, they have the new Dream Loungers, so leather seats yeah so it's really nice okay so obviously it's early in the morning exactly. did you drink coffee what are you doing to stay awake right now um all the the only thing that's keeping me uh excited and awake is about to see the movie that's it that's good that's enough what does this mean to you what does star wars mean to you uh well ever since i was a child i loved star wars i watched star wars i grew up with star wars with the prequel trilogy and now it's just another further continuation of my childhood even though i'm an adult now <laughs> well you're never too old for star wars thank you so much will and as i'm holding your lightsaber i should probably go over uh, some of the rules here you can bring a lightsaber don't bring any weapons um you can wear um a helmet don't wear a mask though they do want to uh, remind people to do that here at marcus point cinema so adam and charlotte it should be an exciting uh day mm -hmm. so the only weapon allowed <laughs> i'm having fun with this yeah, be gentle be gentle with that lightsaber uh -huh. and that could hurt people <laughs> just be careful i will i promise all right <laughs>
Thank, Thank you. you. Hot ticket this morning is for Star Wars The Force Awakens. The movie is playing basically around the clock mm -hmm. in a lot of theaters, including here in Madison. Marcus Point Cinemas on Madison's west side has showings throughout the morning. That's where Eden is. Good morning. Good morning, Adam and Charlotte. Okay, so I first have to shed light on this. They're called Dream Loungers, right? So comfortable. This was the chair that uh, our friend Russell here actually enjoyed while watching Star Wars. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so um, you said you actually don't often go to theaters. You waited to watch this movie. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? No spoilers, though, but what are your thoughts? Uh, I was I was really impressed with the movie. I thought um, it lived up to a lot of my expectations. Uh, it was definitely worth coming out here to see in the, on the first day. Uh, it says a lot that you would even come here because, again, you said you don't often go to movies. Um, if you could rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate it? Um, I would say it's it's between a 9 and a 10, maybe 9 and a half, you know, um, 9, 9 and a half. That's pretty good. Now, did you do anything to prepare for this movie? Uh, I, I did. I, I, um, I rewatched uh, some of the, the older movies, um, especially the original trilogy, the four or five, episode four, five, and six. Uh, before I came out here to see seven, I wanted to be, um, you know, brushed up on, on all, all things Star Wars. Sure. Now, what time did you get here to watch this movie? Uh, I came in at just before 3.30. My showing started at 3.30 in the morning. Okay. So did you have to stretch a little bit in between uh, during the movie a bit? Yeah, there was a break here and there, but to to get through it. But you know, it was uh, it was worth it coming out. I think. Um, All right. So what's the plan now? A nap, maybe some coffee. What's what's going to happen? Uh, definitely sleep uh, later to <laughs> later this morning. Um, I need to uh, get get back on schedule. But um, you know, they, it's uh, for now. You know, here and the movie kind of pumped me up. So you know, I'm 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 awake enough right now. Pumped you up so much that you will actually come back to watch it again, right? In a few days. Correct. Yes, I'm. Pro I'm planning on seeing it again on Saturday. Awesome. That says a lot. It says a lot about the movie. Thank you so much, Russell. Now, again, I'm told managers told me that pretty much from 7 p.m. to 2 in the morning, all of the showings, all the movies were filled. People came by to watch, um, and then things started to slow down a bit. They did have to close their doors from four to six, just kind of clean things up. And then people have been coming by. The lines haven't been too long. It hasn't been too busy. It's been fairly steady. Um, again, that's because they have a showing pretty much every half hour, so um, every 20 to 30 minutes. So you can really catch one whenever. Um, I ran into a couple who said they wanted to watch the movie before going to work. So some people are pulling all nighters. Other people are waking up trying to catch the movie before work. Um, but it seems like it's an exciting day for a lot of uh, die hard Star Wars fans, Adam and Charlotte. I think if you let Russell hang out uh -huh. on that uh, dream recliner any longer, he might <laughs> conk out right there. You know, I'm yeah. just saying. I know, I know. <laughs> Don't fall asleep on us, right? <laughs> yeah. It's right, tough. Here. It's tough. Very comfortable. Okay. Eden, thank you.